tombstone level two. They want to dive this most likely, yeah. Yeah, they'll throw down the tombstone. They're gonna try and make a move onto the Medusa. That forces a TP out from the Alchemist. They'll throw an unstable concoction. It stuns them both up. They'll try to get the tombstone out. The damage on a Shiro and not handle the aggression coming in from Shenzhen. And with no ZZQ there to start, they were able to put the aggression onto Shiro and make him feel uncomfortable up to the point where he ends up dying. Ooh. Ooh. Same time some... though, Phoenix, he dies over mid. That's got... Echo doing it solo. He got the solo kill plus he forced hard. Yeah, he wasn't even banned in uh, these two games. Like, these two teams just don't play it. Playing the go, rolling thunder, and Dome again, he gets the ult off, so this is not going to be an easy kill to get, if they can even get it. He's broken. <laughs> they go into the stone gaze, they get the kill on a planet, he's just surviving. He has 5,000 5, health. Yes. That was insane. They finally get the kill onto this undying. They're going to look over at Phoenix, the time walk in with the time dilation, and then he's going to walk away. I don't, believe, I don't even think he's finishing anything with it. He's it's not. Like casual perseverance. Yeah, he's not even getting Lincolns with that perseverance. That top. Yeah, top lane C. They've got the Rod of Atos that was just picked up on the Skywrath Mage, so they're able to get the kill on to Echo, but here comes a kill on Ahara. Sharpshooter damage. A lot of it. They're going. Ooh, unstable concoction, Dolme, Tombstone. And they're gonna try and take out this Tombstone, but he's got the Soul Rip. They'll have the Concussive Shot. They'll toss him up into the air. They're gonna try and get the kill here onto the Medusa. They believe laid down a Mystic Flare already, and Hara ends up dead. They get the kill on the Chrono. Omni Knight. The Chrono! Can he get the Aegis? Can he pick it up? Yes, he can. They don't get the kill on a Roche, but they end up snapping, snatching the Aegis. They've got the lasso used now. Undying. That's due <laughs> onto the very tanky Undying. And they will get that kill on a Shiro. They'll take it the Medusa. They'll look over now at this Bangalier. Zeal on the run. Zeal trying to get out of this one with the Swashbucklers. They've killed off ZZQ. And it will be another kill here for Shenzhen. They just eliminate Eom in this fight. That's always the danger. Well, of so, yeah, going in on this one and grabbing uh, uh, again the tiny, but it just feels like he is so strong. They do get that ult out. Stone Gaze, eventually the duration is going to end. And I feel like they're just going to be able to walk in with a Chrono, and that's exactly what they grow. did. They got the Mystic Flare down onto the Shiro Medusa for the Bushwhack on the two behind them, locking up these heroes. They get the kill on a hard They're still trying to get the Medusa. They finish off Phoenix. The damage, it's just not there yet, but finally they'll take out Shiro. They've taken out the Medusa. Down goes YP, so they'll lose the Skywrath, but Kaiko, he's going out of control, and so is Dolme. Echo's gone. Zeal falls. Three heroes dead on the side of Ehome as they're going to look for ZZQ. Time walk forward, right clicks in, ZZQ's gone, and the only one who can survive is the Hoodwink in the trees of Planet. Again with this Roche, so we'll see how it goes this time because Chrono is back off cooldown and they are uh, much stronger this time around on the side of Shenzhen. They don't have to play it as precariously, in my opinion. Look at this, ZZQ. ZZQ's kind of forward. Mystic Flare is off the mark. Shiro standing his ground. They get the kill on the ZZQ, but Hara again dead quickly. The lasso's out. Time walk in, time walk out. Kaiko not committing. They're going to let Phoenix fall. They're going to let him buy back, and eventually they should be able to drop down the Chrono if they need it. But they got the stun. They have the sharpshooter. Time walk in, time walk back. And now the Chrono, but a four staff. Kaiko trying to focus his attention on the Zeal. They get the kill on Echo as well. They'll take out two of the look after this Medusa and get another. Four dead again on the side of Ehome. They cannot catch up to the Hoodwink again. But, uh, well, he needs to be ready for movement here. Oh, he ready? Dying Zane, overwhelming blink. They're going to go with the BKB being Popeye Shiro. They immediately evacuate on this one. But again, they're going after the Undying. Undying is very tanky. Kaiko from behind, Rod of Atos is there, there's no BKB, the Chrono gets dropped, Mystic Flare on top of the Medusa, they have the silence with the Ancient Seal, is he dead? Tiny's ready to go, he's dead. they'll get the kill on the Shiro, he'll drop the Divine Rapier, but ooh, Echo picks it up, he's got the BKB, they're gonna still try to right click and bash him down, that's exactly what they do, they get the Divine Rapier into the hands of this Faceless Void, and with that, Shenzhen have eliminated Ehome from TI Qualifiers, and they are making a move onto the next round. 
this is exactly what we had, right? Like, um, this is what we thought might happen. Like, eHome, they've been steadily on a decline since yeah. that Division 1, Season 1, like, where they, what, ended up...